Yo, what's going on today, YouTube? Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today, we're going to be breaking down the top five easiest guns to use in Warzone for anyone in general, but specifically for beginning players. I had a lot of people recently tell me that they're just getting into Warzone, so I want to help you guys out a little bit. I know I usually make my content to competitive players, but this could also be useful for some of you guys too, I'm sure, but this is going to be morally focused on beginning players on which guns are going to be the easiest to use because there is certain guns that have certain strengths and weaknesses that realistically if you're an advanced player you're not really going to need them but if you're a beginning player it's something that could really help you guys out so i'm going to dive into this with you guys today we're going to go through the top five weapons that i believe that everyone should be running some of them are meta for all competitive players so stick around if you guys are a competitive player but there's a few of them on here that you're going to be like, why are they on there? But I'll explain it for you guys. I hope you guys do enjoy it. If this does help out anyone here, make sure you do like the video, subscribe to the channel, or at least consider subscribing to the channel, and comment below what you guys think or if there's a gun that you guys think should be on this list. So I appreciate you guys. Let's jump on into it. All right, you guys, before we even jump into the list, I think something that should be thrown out here for any new player, you'll see all high-level game players using SMGs for the most part. But shotguns have been meta at times, and I know if I didn't have a great aim, running a shotgun that has a ton of ammo and it was pretty much automatic is going to do great for me. So the new sweet street sweeper that came out, the R9, the Gallo seems to be decent, the Jack 12, and the Origin, they're all automatic shotguns basically, or semi-automatic shotguns, and you can absolutely fry people with them. So if you don't have the greatest aim in the world, Maybe try out a shotgun. Maybe that's your game style. I know I have a couple buddies that like will go through periods where I'm like, I can't kill people up close and they'll pull out a shotgun and it helps them out. And they're usually pretty decent players. So I imagine if people aren't hitting your shots on you up close, this is really going to help you out. So before we jumped in the list, I just wanted to go over that. But first weapon I want to go into guys, number five, the Kilo. If you guys haven't played Call of Duty Modern Warfare before, the Kilo is one of the most accurate weapons from the game and it transitioned into warzone as one of the strongest weapons for a long time it's been nerfed now so the time to kill isn't as good as it once was but it is very good still it's definitely like a top five ar for sure and the reason it's so good is because it's very accurate guys it's good at long range it's good at medium range and you can kill people short range because it does have a good headshot multiplier so this gun is really going to be for anyone but specifically for new people because the recoil is super easy to control it's literally straight up and down i've talked about it a million times on this channel and that's why i want to put it at number five because you don't have to worry about any recoil control with this gun and the kill time isn't the greatest right now but it's definitely a very solid gun guys and i would recommend it to any beginning player or any good player so honestly that's why it comes in at number five let's move on to number four so coming in at number four, guys, I have the Bruin here. The Bruin has always been a very solid LMG, and at some points in time, it was absolutely broken. And to be honest, a reason I put an LMG on this list, like the Bruin, it has a 60 round mag, so you can reload really fast. Or if you really want to, you can put the 200 round mag on. If you're like, I can't hit my shots for anything, you can put that 200 round mag on. I would say 60 round mag because it reloads really fast. It's basically an AR with the capabilities of an LMG. So it's very good guys. These builds that I'm also showing on the screen are the builds I would run on these guns. If you guys did not notice that from the last gun, I forgot to mention that, but the Bruin, it's just, it's good at range. Recoil is pretty considerably easy to control. And you can swap this out for the hollow site if you prefer the hollow site. But honestly guys, the kill time is very fast, easy recoil. And Honestly, it doesn't feel as lunky as some of the other LMGs, so you can't really go wrong with it. It's a very easy gun to use, and I would recommend it to anyone. So that's why it comes in at number four. Coming in at number three for me today, guys, the OG Modern Warfare MP5. You're seeing a lot more people use the Cold War MP5 right now over this because this has been nerfed so many times. It's been, if you guys are new to Warzone, this gun was literally the SMG of Warzone for, let's say, nine months, eight months, something like that absolutely crazy every once in a while the shotguns we're talking about came and overtook it but like this gun has just dominated the scene forever and the reason why is because you can build it like eight different ways but this build specifically i'm showing you on the screen is this laser right here allows you to hip fire like crazy you don't even have to aim like my buddy sam he'll be like i'll be watching him and i'll be like dude aim in on this guy and he's like i don't need to it's just gonna kill him with a hip fire and i'm like 
So you really don't have to even aim with this gun a lot. Obviously at longer ranges when you have it out, you're gonna want to, or you wanna be really precision or precise with their headshots, you can go for it. But realistically, if you're just like in a building, hit fire them, they're gonna die most likely. It's super easy to use and kill times fast. There's no really downsides to this gun. It has very great mobility. And the build, honestly, I run here is the same build that I run always in game because you can really just whip the gun with people when you're aiming down sight and then you always have that hip fire to fall back on so definitely a very reliable ar here or submachine gun here it's not the best in the game by any means but it's very good and easy to use so that's why i have it in at number three and coming in at number four today guys we have the m4 the m4 to me is a super underrated gun right now i think it does a lot of damage at medium to long range long range it gets a little weird because the recoil has always been kind of funky with it but Honestly, this gun is good at short range, it's good at medium range, and it it really does kill people very quickly, especially the short medium range. It's almost like viable against some SMGs, which it just kind of gives you like that Swiss army knife, which I you've heard me call it a million times on this channel. But I love always love this gun because of how accessible it is. When you are in a bad situation, you're out of ammo in your SMG, you can switch to this gun and you have no issue at all. If you guys do have issues with the iron sights or you don't love the iron sights, you can take off this rear grip here and throw on the, uh, or throw the VLK scope on it and you could run that perfectly fine. But I prefer to have that on it because I feel like this build right here is super good, especially because if you're a beginner to the game, you're probably not beaming people across the map. Like you're just probably not. If you're running this build and you're a competitive player, you're probably playing super aggressive. So you're going to be more within those medium range fights. So you're not killing people across the map either. So it kind of works out for anyone. And that's why it comes in at number two for me, because it's just, it's a solid gun. The hip fire is not that bad on it either. And it's very easy at all ranges to use for the most part. So let's go on to number one. And coming in at number one today, guys, the AMAX. The AMAX is actually number one on my best guns list right now as well. So I had to put it at number one here because just for example, guys, I play mouse and keyboard on a regular basis, but every once in a while, we like to break out the good old controller. And I used to be good on the controller, but I'm not very good anymore. But my go-to gun on a controller is always the AMAX. AMAX absolutely just locks on people sometimes, guys. Like, no joke. Like, I don't know what it is about this gun, but it just beams people, man. It's definitely the best gun in the game right now. It may it may get nerfed eventually. I don't know what their plans are with other guns. I imagine they're going to be buffing on their other guns because this gun isn't like broken by any means. It's just really strong. So we'll see what they end up doing with this specifically. But I don't know, guys. It is for sure the best gun in the game right now. And it's super easy to use because it just kills people so fast. It kills people extremely fast. Recoil can get a little funky at long range if you aren't great at controlling recoil but that medium range to short range you're not going to find a better gun it kills people super fast and it does a great job guys and it always will go well with any smg or shotgun that you're running with and it really does just pulls together an entire loadout for you and that's really why it comes in at number one for me guys this thing is an absolute monster right now came in number one on my best guns list and yeah, guys, if you guys did enjoy the video, make sure you do like the video, subscribe to the channel, and comment below if I did leave something off the list, or maybe some of you beginners can give me a little tips on how to help you guys out more, because I love helping people out, and that's what my whole channel is about. I usually aim towards the more com competitive community, but you beginners, I would love to help you guys out, and for anyone that has stuck around this long, I'll give you a little bonus real quick. Um run the amax with the mac 10 potentially if you want to take your game to the next level the mac 10 is a little hard to use if you aren't a good with recoil because the recoil can get a little funky at times but you can also run it with that mp5 the mp5 would be great with any of the guns i listed for the ars here and then if you guys didn't know how to do that you have to put overkill on your perks that's probably something i should have mentioned as well so make sure you do have that guys i'd probably run it with if i was making a list for someone that's brand new to the game i would hand them the amax with the modern warfare mp5 with that exact build right here and that would be my number one loadout for a new player so i appreciate you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and peace out